Amigos de Yaparate, en este momento los invitamos para que se conecten a las redes sociales de Los 40, porque tenemos primero, arriba, que saludarla, arriba, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días, amigos, ¿cómo están? Yo muy bien y muy feliz porque frente Ajá. a nosotros, a Iñaki y a mí, están Taylor, Zach y Isaac. Ellos son nadie más y nadie menos que Hanson. Hanson, welcome to Los 40. Oh. Welcome to oh. Yaparate. How are you guys? We're very yeah. good. Thank very you good. so much. Yeah. Oh, this is so nostal nostalgia is the word that, that comes to first to my mind. Because right. uh, I realized when people told me we're going to do this interview, I realized It's been 25 years yeah. since yeah. Umbop. Since, 25 since our years. first album. Yeah. yeah. I know. Years, yes. And I, I used to sing that there. song 25 years ago. I, I, I still remember the, the, the lyrics, but I don't remember what I did 25 years ago. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey, don't lie. You were singing it in the shower this morning. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah. You know, it's great. We it's all keep doing song. that. <laughs> See, yeah. Iñaki. Okay, y justo estamos we're... hablando que hace 25 años se estrenó, se estrenó un bap y que bueno, Iñaki dice, me acuerdo exactamente de la letra de la canción, pero no me acuerdo qué estaba haciendo hace 25 años. Y justo Zach le dice, no, pues tú estabas seguro cantándole la ducha. Guys, it's a pleasure to have you with us again. I say it. How is it for you to keep receiving so much love after un bap hit the world by storm and how it has been to grow up with this? Well, first of all, Mbop introduced us to people all over the world. It's that's very true, and we've then kept an amazing relationship with fans. And I mean, huge thanks to all the Mexican fans. I mean, we've been able to go to Mexico many times, and also, I mean, we look at audiences. You know, this tour we just started in Europe. We've been all over Europe, mm -hmm. and we we see that you know when you're singing "I Will Come to You" or songs like "Save Me" and "Where's the Love" and you know all you know not only Mbop, you 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 feel like you're connected to people through music mm -hmm. and it's it's incredible and you know now we've been a band for 30 years we've um toured the world many times and it's just it, kind of an extraordinary thing we we have shared sort of a, a life of growing up within you know with music through music with so many fans okay let me translate eh, le decíamos que hace 25 años salió en bob y nos decían claro es que es una canción que nos permitió llegar a todo el mundo o sea no de alguna manera, todo el planeta cantó Bombo en Bapa hace 25 años y al día de hoy todavía, eh, este, bueno, seguimos cantando desde luego, pero al día de hoy todavía les ha permitido que con su música lleguen a muchas partes del mundo. Ahorita están empezando una nueva gira en Europa, pues nos hablaban también de cómo conocido en México y vinieron varias veces a México a lo largo de estos años y dice es que somos una banda que llevamos 30 años trabajando. It's not easy when you say we've been doing this what we love for the last 30 years. Yes. Oh, yeah. It makes you tired. You know, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Decimos que 30 años, o sea, no es fácil. Y si no, ya. De repente nos sentimos hasta cansados, ¿no, arriba? And also, sí, total. And also the number three seems to be very pretty important number for you. You are three. Uh, it's your 30 anniversary, of course, this year on the scene. And your new album is a three-part album. Red, blue, red, green, blue. How did you came up with this unique idea? <laughs> well, I mean, this is uh, Isaac. This is a project Isaac had suggested um, you know, a few years ago, and you know, it's unique. It's one of those projects that needs to be do, done at, right at the right time. And um, coming on to this year, we knew we'd be touring. We put actually an album out during the pandemic that was just um, special, you know, singles every month that was called Against the World. And we said, but we want something fresh this year. So the three parts seemed like a great way to do something with this anniversary. Each part of the album, the three of us, you know, took sort of took control. You know, I wrote five songs, wrote five songs, Zach wrote five songs. And, you know, it's just a, a different way of highlighting our band, the sound, the creative process. It's like showing different sides of, of the band and showing people what makes up the whole part of the band, but finding a unique way to describe each individual member. Ok, let me translate. Eh, le preguntaba arriba acerca del número tres, que por qué es tan importante el número tres, digamos, entre ellos. Obviamente son tres hermanos. Está el número tres involucrado en los 30 años que llevan de carrera, pero su nuevo álbum se llama Red, Green, Blue, es decir, rojo, verde, azul. Son tres colores y es como una manera que representa mucho lo que ellos, lo que ellos son. Y nos decían que sí, que fue una idea única que se le ocurrió a Isaac y que representa muy bien lo que ellos son como individuos, pero también los ha llevado como a este nivel de hacer un álbum muy especial, porque hicieron uno durante la pandemia, 
pero querían en este 2022 sacar nueva música. And I gotta say something, guys. I, I listened to your, to your album last night and I realized two things. It's, it's again, very nostalgic for, for me, but not just for the music because it's a whole album. Uh, guys, right now, <laughs> people, people who, who, who make music, they, they launch like a single, not 16 songs. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's so yes. cool. It's so cool yeah, to yeah. have again a whole album, like a like a huge history, and not just one song to dance or to party or to cry or whatever you want. And that's it. That's all you get. You know, it's yeah. different to to have a whole album. We've done we've done lots of different things, and mm -hmm. you know, and on this album, we we wanted to create something that was really you know robust. You know, we we almost put this out as three EPs: five songs, five oh, songs, wow. five songs, but in the end, we, we wanted people to hear them, all these songs right alongside one another, mm -hmm. you know, so you really hear this, this is Isaac, this is Taylor, this is Zach, and this is the way we work together, because the record, you know, we worked on another one another's songs together as well. If you listen to this album, it really does have, even though it was different people writing songs, and it was mm -hmm. very much three parts, it, it does have a flow, you know, it has mm -hmm. a feeling, you know, you go on a journey, and um, every album, you know, it's a different journey, it's a different project, so we're glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really amazing, it. guys. I'm going to translate now. Yeah. Uh, Iñaki les estaba preguntando, eh, estaba diciendo que anoche escuchó justamente este álbum Red, Green, Blue y que fue muy refrescante para él encontrarse con un disco completo de 16 canciones porque estamos en un momento en el mundo en el que los artistas lanzan sencillos y ya no se ve tanto como el, el, el hype de un álbum de una. Pues ellos dicen que sobre esto sí era muy importante que tuvieran un álbum completo. En algún momento pensaron que iban a ser 13 EPs distintos, uno de Zack, uno de Isaac y uno de Taylor, pero pues que realmente tiene un flow el álbum completo, que lo han trabajado básicamente jugando los unos con las canciones de los otros. Y es que los Hanson siempre han estado muy involucrados en hacer música. Ellos tocan todos sus instrumentos, los tres. Eh, ellos se dedican también a producir, se dedican a componer. Entonces es algo pues que vienen haciendo desde hace 30 años, como ya lo sabemos. Y en lo que los tres se han visto involucrados, por eso decían, ok, quisimos hacer algo diferente, quisimos hacer algo realmente nuevo y único pero sigue siendo Hanson y así cada uno de ellos haya tomado como un tercio del álbum, cada uno de sus cinco canciones realmente se siente como el flow y la continuidad de tener un disco completo, un disco robusto como bien nos lo decía Taylor and guys, your long time fans, fans like me, really do know when it is an Isaac, a Zach or a Taylor song, we, we know we're yeah, separate yeah. For the new album, really made sense in that way. I can tell, but how was it when you listened to each other all the songs for the first time? How was yeah. that? It, it was an interesting process when we came up with the idea to kind of decided that we do it, it. I don't think anyone knew exactly how it would all end up, um, but it was very, very cool, very fun to have the opportunity to let each other. And then kind of bring it to the band in a unique way because we're so used to sitting down around a piano or guitar or playing together and working through songs and so to have the opportunity to say this is my song idea this is where I want to go with it and and for each of us to kind of serve the other person's creative vision I think was a really powerful and really valuable thing to do and it was very exciting. Y ahí nos comenta que la verdad es que fue muy emocionante el poder participar en la creación de este disco, porque como le preguntaba arriba, se nota cuál es la canción de cada uno. O sea, se nota para los que son muy fans qué canciones de Isaac, qué canciones de Taylor, qué canciones de Zack. Pues nos decían ahorita, es que el tema es que a la hora de hacerlo juntos, se tuvieron que involucrar en las canciones que cada uno pensaban eran las ideales. Y como bien decía arriba, pues están acostumbrados ellos a tocar los instrumentos, a producir. And, and I guess in, in this idea, guys, that Many bands, they say, we are like brothers. When we work together, we are like yeah. brothers. But you actually, you are actually brothers. So yeah. that's, yeah. I think that's difficult because you have like that uh, confidence to say to, to the other what you feel about that song or what you feel about that lyric. And, and it's hard because there's some ego involved, right? It's hard when, when you say, okay, you know, you're not right. 
but you're my brother. So <laughs> well, we have I, to talk about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, is it is challenging. And it is, and there are times where you really have a hard time mm -hmm. communicating. But but in, at the heart of it, I mean, we, we have been walking the line of collaboration for all our lives. Mm -hmm. And and when when you have mutual you know to say hey here's a thought and 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 can you know work on it together but but also one of the things that's important is to also learn how to say hey i i'm going to let you do that the way you, you want to do it and it's, and it's I trust think, you know and so i i think that's respect respect for each other i think at the center of it is is really essential and that goes with business that goes with relationships you know a good friendship sometimes it's being honest other times it's just going I love right, you anyway. <laughs> I know you're wrong, but okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 But that's really amazing, don't guys, los pants. chicos. <laughs> yeah, don't wear those pants. Those are not flattering. Yeah. Pero Iñaki les preguntaba que, bueno, muchas bandas dicen, sí, somos como hermanos, trabajamos juntos, pero ellos tres en realidad llevan 30 años juntos como banda, pero además son hermanos, entonces llevan toda una vida trabajando y entendiéndose juntos. Que ¿Cómo es ese, eh, esa dinámica de decir las cosas y de tener la honestidad de decir, mira, pues esta canción no me parece que está chévere? Y justo Taylor decía que se trata de respeto mutuo, se trata de, a la hora de conocerse, de tenerse la confianza, decir, hey, mira, pienso esto, esta canción podría ser mejor así, pero siempre basándose en el respeto. Y Isaac decía pues que también se trata de la confianza que se tienen y de, de, de entender pues que juntos están buscando lo mejor para el proyecto. Entonces que todo se trata de respeto mutuo, de aprendizaje y de por qué no mejorar las cosas. Igual también dice que esto se traslada eh, al tema de la amistad, al tema de los negocios. Si hay respeto mutuo, tú vas a ser capaz de poder decir las cosas de la mejor manera. Guys, y, y a veces really dices, y, oye, y, Riva, y lo muy importante, ¿no? Que a veces cuando sabes que pues no está bien. Dices, bueno, venga, no pasa nada. O sea, no es como yo quería, sí. pero no pasa nada. Pero bueno. Bueno, adelante. Exacto. Nosotros nos vamos a despedir en este momento del aire. Nos vamos a quedar con música de Hanson, por supuesto, pero sigan conectados al Facebook Live porque ahí seguimos con Taylor, con Zach y con Isaac de Hanson que están hoy en Ya Párate con nosotros. Ok. Guys, so, we keep... Yeah. So... Like one minute. We have like one minute more. No? Huh? One more minute. Yeah. One more okay. question. <laughs> okay, let's chale arriba. Okay, fast, fast. Okay, and guys, in your music videos, I love them. And about let, let's talk about the Don't Let Me Down video. There, it's hilarious, it's fun. Uh, Frankie oh, Muniz, you. isn't it? Zach, yeah. Yeah. talk to me about that video. I know it was your idea. Yeah, well, you know, the thing about the music videos was just like the colors, it seemed really like a great opportunity to bring out the character. Right, and, and Taylor's is, is cinematic and sort of, it has this very intensity to it. And mm -hmm. Isaac's is so honest and it's based in all these real places that he goes with his daughter. And so I wanted to go to somewhere completely fantastical and, and totally outside of the real world. And so we, we made up this idea. Actually, our younger brother directed it and wrote the treatment uh, with me. And um, It was awesome. We got our friend Frankie Muniz to come. He's been a, a friend for years and years. And so I, I called him up. I said, hey, Frankie, uh, we're making a music video. Do you want to be in it? He goes, yes. I said, do you want me to tell you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> he showed up and I handed him the short shorts and he's like, oh, <laughs> I should have oh, asked. Okay. Oh, oh, this is what we're doing. Uh, yeah. But it was just a joy, you know, fake muscle body suits and Um, you know, making up this story about a, a fight at a gym and uh, yeah. lasers. <laughs> it, it was really fun. Ok, este, lo, lo traduzco yo arriba Bueno, eh, la pregunta era acerca de su video Del video musical que, que acompaña, digamos, esta nueva producción Les decía que fue una cosa muy divertida de hacer Porque representa como el, el carácter o la personalidad de cada uno y Decía, a esa que es pues, el que va a lo mejor con su hija a todos los lugares Tiene una, una forma de ser muy honesta Pero Taylor pues tiene otra manera Y yo soy muy fantástico, muy, muy de otro mundo Y entonces lo dirigió el otro hermano Su cuarto hermano fue quien este, dirigió este, este video Y que, pues, véanlo la, 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 mejor, la mejor opción es que lo vean para que entiendan Cómo representa a cada uno de ellos, pero al mismo tiempo, cómo, pues es, es Hanson, ¿no? O sea, lo, tú lo dirías así arriba, es Hanson. Totalmente. It's such a hilarious video and I love it. And also I love Write You a Song. And it's totally an Isaac song and yeah. a very heartfelt one. I love the message of the song and how it is relevant, especially in times like these, right? Yeah. Well, you know, everybody, uh, 
I, I think a lot of people say things like, oh, that's my song, you know? Uh, oh, they relate to and they connect to that. And actually my daughter specifically said to me, daddy, you never write me any songs. And so, I, so that's what that song was about, was, was a, uh, writing a song about memories and about how uh, when she hears that song or when someone you love hears you know, your song that you have together, that it brings you back to those special memories and those special times. And so hopefully there are a lot of ways that people can relate to that song. And I know that especially as a dad, dad of a little girl, that's a special and important relationship. And it's a, a song that I'm very proud of. Yeah, that, that was great. So let me translate. Eh, la, la pregunta iba de, o sea, que él hizo la canción, ¿no? Y, y Isaac decía, bueno, es una canción que sí, puedo yo decir que es mía, pero en realidad surgió porque su hija le dijo, papá, nunca me has hecho una canción. Y entonces fue como, ok. Y quiso hacer una canción que hablara de esos momentos especiales y, y de esas situaciones que han vivido. Y finalmente dice, bueno, es, es una canción muy importante para mí por lo que involucra, pero que desea realmente que así como esa, esa relación que él tiene con su hija está reflejada en esa canción, que la gente cuando la escuche pueda tener también alguna manera de, eh, de sentirla como suya. That's right. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Guys, it was such a pleasure to have you yeah. with us on Ya Parate on Los 40. You're amazing. 25 Please. September. Oh, September 25. Yes. You're coming, right? Absolutely. We will see vale you all aquí. in September. Thank you very much. We El 25 de septiembre en la Ciudad de México <laughs> viene Hanson. Eh, you Thank you so here. much. You, you should come here to our, to our radio yeah. station. Yeah. Okay, give us the address yeah. and we'll be there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're sharing it with you right now. We're sharing it. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Gracias, Anson. Have a Nos great vamos. day. Gracias, Arriba. Y nosotros seguimos aquí en Ya Parte.